Today, I'm going to show you how to find anything using everything on a PC. I'm Huey Poplock. That's right. I like to find files quickly. Windows doesn't really give us a chance to do so. I'm going to use a program that I've talked about many times, but I've never really demonstrated in detail. We're going to try to do that today using everything by Void Tools. You use Windows Search or Cortana, you'll find a few files on your system, and then it'll say, well, let's go to Windows Explorer and see what we can find. When you do that, and you put in your search, you will find that it takes quite a bit of time. I have three screen captures here. The first one about five minutes in, the second one about nine minutes in, and the last one about 30 minutes in when it finally finished. So it takes a long time just to find one term when you're searching with Windows Explorer. When you are searching using everything, as soon as you open it, it's ready to go and it finds everything within a second. This is the website voidtools.com where you can download the installer, where you can download a portable version as well. Let's take a look at a live demo. Let's open up everything. As soon as we do, it's there and we can start searching. So let's use the term CFCS to search and it now has found 1540 objects. That does the folders first. And as we scroll down, you can see there's a lot of items there. So we scroll down, then we get the files. There are some that are Excel spreadsheets and PDF files and all kinds of files. And we can sort in several ways. And we're going to take a look at some different ways in which we can sort. First, we are sorting alphabetically with the folders at the top. If we click the name, we reverse that. So now we're starting at the Z under the files, then we go to the folder. So we can search alphabetically from A to Z, Z to A. We can sort by the path and then we can reverse that and it will do the G and C. And I'm gonna talk about how you set that up in a moment. You can do by size. So you can have the largest file at the top. In this case, it's uh, two gigabytes or you can go to the smallest. Those are folders, so there's not sizes, but then we start at 1K. Or you can go by date modified to the date that I'm recording this, which is the 7th of August. Or you can reverse it and go to the oldest file using the CFCS by folder is 2012. The oldest file by itself is 1998 on my hard drive. Now there's different views you can have. Right now we're looking at the details. You can have medium thumbnails, you can have large thumbnails, and you can have extra large thumbnails. Let's look at different items that you can search. You can search everything, which is what we're set at now, but you can only look at audio files, compressed files, documents, executables, just folders, just pictures, or just videos. Another thing that we can do under view we can have a preview window. That means if we click this, we see a preview of it. So you can adjust that. But you can also adjust your column sizes so we can have all the information and see it here. You see the ability to change and it changes very quickly. There's a couple of things I want to show you under tools and under options. First one is folders. I have a D drive, which is an SD card, and G is my Google Drive. So I can search my Google Drive as well by adding it under folders, and I can exclude certain things. I don't want to show hidden files and folders. I don't want to show any system file. And in most cases, when I'm looking for a file, I'm not looking for something. It's going to be either a hidden or a system file. If I'm sure that that's what a file is that I'm looking for, then I might want to uncheck those. But I'm going to keep them checked. I'm going to say, oh, it does take a few seconds when you make that. Now it's sorting them and it's done. So now it doesn't have any of the hidden files or any of the system files. So if I type in Huey, you will see all of the folders that have Huey, but let's now search for any video files that have my name in, and you will see 
that there are several. They're right there. I want to look at any document that has my name in it. You will see that even documents, if I click on it, I will get. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to load the file to show you the preview. I want to look for pictures. And then I can go back to search everything. Now, let's say I want to find Chromebook. You can see I have a lot of files there. And if I wish, I only want to find on G. I want to look at my Google Drive, and you can see that it shows everything that's on my Google Drive. So I put a space there in the word screen. I will see the word screen and only those items that are on my Google Drive. So people ask, can I search my Google Drive? Well, this is a way which you can search your Google Drive. You're not going to do it from your Chromebook, but you can do it from your PC. Find what you want, know where it is, and then go to your Chromebook and then work with it. Let's look at a few ways that I use everything. First, I want to find some files that I know were in the folder when I was working on Website of the Week. And as I start to type in Website, you'll notice that it keeps changing with each letter. And as I continue to type, it found all of the Website of the Weeks. I'm looking for something in 13. So I'm going to come down here to that folder. And it could be even a file where that folder is. But I'm going to find that folder. And I'm going to right mouse click. And I'm going to come up here to Open Path. I'm going to click on Open Path. It opens up my Windows Explorer to that folder and all of the files and subfolders that are there. Then I can find the file that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a file that I created in a program called Microsoft Publisher. I know all of the files that Publisher creates are .pub. So if I hit the star or asterisk .pub, it will find the asterisk is a wildcard. So it'll find any file that has the extension pub. So I can come down here, I can find what I'm looking for, and I know that it's that file, or it probably is, I can tell it to open the path It opens the folder that has that file in it, and then I can pick and choose which one I want to use. Often, I lose a file. I might save it and can't remember where I saved it to right after I saved it, or I was clicking and dragging a file and dropped it in the wrong place. Now, how would I find it? Well, let's give an example. I'm going to open up a web page. I'm still on vid tools, and let's say I want to find support and everything, and there's something on here that I want to capture. So I do a screen capture. I happen to use a program called Snagit. You may use something else, but this is what I'm using. So we're going to take this information. We're going to tell it, okay, grab it and save it and save as, and we'll say uh, test number one. And I say save. And I close. It saved it. I close this. I didn't pay attention to where I was saving it. So how do we do that? We'll minimize this. We called it. Doesn't matter what we called it. Maybe I don't even remember what I called it. What am I going to do? I am going to look under date modified. But I know that I saved it as a JPEG. So let's first tell it we want to look for pictures. Now we're going to go to date modified. We're going to sort, find the last one, and there it is right at the top because it's the last picture that I saved. I just click on it. I can look at the preview and that's what I wanted. And here is where it is. And so I can now right mouse click and open the path. Okay, it's in the articles for the blog. It's for this article, but maybe that's not where I want it. I can place it wherever I want now that I know where it is, and I can even rename it if I didn't like the 
title that I was using. So very quickly, you can find what you last saved, even if you can't remember the name or where you saved it to. How to find anything using everything on a PC? I'm Huey Poplock.